when did you start your health journey? Uh, I started my health journey in uh, August of uh, last year, August 2021. Uh, I just had bicep surgery, repair a torn bicep, and uh, I kind of knew there's some changes I had to make in my life. I was well over 300 pounds and uh, completely unhealthy and just, uh, I was sick of looking, I was sick of feeling that way. Uh, so I knew I said start making some changes. So I started making some gradual little changes. Um, and then we found 1% Fitness in the, the six week challenge. And we decided that that was gonna be the next stage, next evolution in our fitness journey there. And it was probably the biggest one. What made you decide to start the health journey or was it something? Uh, my kids are active young boys. My wife's active. Uh, I wasn't active enough. I used to be in the military. I retired from the military a couple years ago. And I was very active and I kind of let things get out of control and spin out of control until suddenly uh, from my military retirement to last year, I'd gained 70 pounds. Um, and I just, I just knew I felt bad. I was sleeping bad. My knees were bad. My feet were bad. Everything was bad. My blood pressure was high. Uh, so I just knew that something had to change. And it was that bicep surgery I kind of used that as a catalyst to say, okay, I'm down for a little bit. Now that's, I have to go for physical therapy to repair it. Uh, I need to start making some changes. And I just use that as a, a place for change. Uh, I started off with uh, intermittent fasting. Uh, so I didn't have to change a whole lot about what I ate. It was just when I ate. Um, so that, that was the first big step. And then joining the 1% Fitness Challenge uh, was the change in what I, you know, it changed not only when I ate, but now what I ate. And, and, you know, the, 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 the food that we're taking in and, and how to how to learn to eat better and eat right. What obstacles kept you starting, starting that journey? So the obstacles that kept me from starting that journey previously, uh, I think really was pride. Um, having spent 20 years in the military, uh, I, used to, I used to be a fitness instructor, a, a cycling instructor. So I used to teach step robots, I used to teach cycling, I used to teach, you know, weightlifting. So the, the pride and the fact that I gained so much weight and I was so heavy, uh, I kept thinking, I'll figure this out later. Uh, I kept thinking I had to do big steps. Uh, I had to jump to running a marathon. I had to jump into this. And it wasn't, I, I didn't think about the smaller, uh, smaller steps to get there. Um, and then when you look yourself in the mirror and you realize how, how bad you've let things get, uh, I think you just kind of, you want to hide your head in the sand and pretend it didn't happen um, or pretend that you'll fix it later. Uh, I, I kept thinking it had to be on my timeline, um, but my timeline kept getting longer and further out and suddenly six months after military retirement turned into six years after retirement and then you know it just became worse and worse and um it just i just needed something and, and i didn't know what it was in, until we did this when i retired from the military um one of the things that i i knew is I, I had some health issues when i retired and i thought okay let me take some downtime instead of constantly having to do pt and work out and worry about my weight worry about my fitness let me take a little downtime to just kind of relax on my body, see how it heals um, and see what happens. And then suddenly that little bit of time turned into years. And then I didn't know how to go back. You know, it, it's hard to think about how to rewind time to go back. Okay, how do I go back to, to start over when I've already gained and lost so much? What surprised you most about the meals and 1% Fitness meals? Uh, what surprised me most about the 1% Fitness meals uh, was that the taste is so fresh. I mean, even the, when you pick the meals up, the last meal you eat tastes as fresh as the first meal you eat. I mean, it literally tastes like it just got made maybe the day before. I mean, it, it does, it, it's not necessarily like it just came out of the oven, but it's not like it tastes like it was yesterday. So even that last meal I put in my mouth and, and heated it up, it, was, it didn't taste any different than the first meal. You know, so there's no change. It, it, everything tasted great. It tastes like it was fresh made. You know, the sauces, the flavors. Um, I was surprised how great it was to have variety. Uh, you think about meal prep and it's like the same food for five days or whatever because you make one big batch of meals where one percent is like you get 14 different meals you know sometimes you get different varieties so it's like i open the drawers like, okay what do i feel like today what what meal do i want today am i gonna treat myself with the hamburger patty i love so much or you know am i, am I gonna eat the you know something else it's like okay let me let me eat pork today let me eat chicken tomorrow you know i was surprised how great it was to have that variety you've been doing keto right yeah, i did the keto which was the uh, and that was another big thing is, is that change. Uh, I knew I was making big changes in my life. So I took the opportunity to try something different, uh, to try keto. I'd never done keto before. Um, I knew getting older, maybe something different might work. Uh, so doing the keto was, was huge. And just having 1% fitness provide the meals and, and do all the, all the macros and do all the legwork for me. 
Uh, so I didn't have to do anything. I didn't think about it. You know, you just heat it up, eat the protein, eat the meals, and, and you're good. How much weight you lost on the first challenge? On the first challenge, uh, I lost 49 pounds. Uh, I was upset that it was one pound shy of 50. Um, I actually, I never thought 50, 50 was even possible. Um, leading up to the challenge, like I said, I started making some small changes after surgery. Uh, I'd lost about 25 pounds on my own in about six weeks. So going into the 1% Fitness Challenge, I thought, okay, maybe 20, 20, 30 pounds is possible. And it's gonna take a lot of work. And then suddenly within three, four weeks, 20, 30 pounds was gone and passed. I said, okay, let's set some new goals. And what are we gonna do now? Um, so 50 was the goal. So if I came in 49 pounds, I was a little, a little frustrated it wasn't 50, but I could never in my wildest dreams believe I would lose 50 pounds in, in six weeks. And all it took was eating great food and uh, walking and increasing my exercise a little bit. How close or where you're at to that and where you're at now starting the challenge um, and what your goal is this challenge? Okay, so where, where are my goals at? Um, you know, from first challenge to now the second challenge. Uh, so again, before, before the first challenge, I had, uh, I had started to lose some weight. So I started off about 326 pounds uh, after my surgery. It was the first marker I, I kind of used to, to look at as far as my weight loss journey. So from 326, I started the first, first challenge at about 302. Uh, so I lost about you know, 24 pounds, 25 pounds. Uh, so I went into that thinking, okay, maybe I'll lose another 20 pounds or so. When I retired from the military, I retired about 260 pounds. So that was my goal to get back to. It was if nothing else, let me get back to where I retired from the military, where I knew I felt pretty good and if nothing, I could try and reverse uh, those years where I spent not doing a whole lot. So 260 was kind of my, my goal going into the first challenge. Um, and I blew that out of the water. I mean, I, that, that was gone. I, I, I weighed in, I think 252 was my final weigh in. Uh, so it was about, you know, almost 50 pounds. So losing the 50 pounds kind of reset my goals. Uh, I think from there, going to the second challenge, I'd really like to get that 100 marker. So 226 is, is kind of my goal now. Um, I don't expect the, 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 big, the, the big changes that we had in the first one, because I weigh a lot less and I'm a lot fitter now. Um, but I kind of set myself a little bit of a lofty goal. It'd be nice to walk around and say, you know, thanks to 1% Fitness and some of the other changes I made in my life, I, I'm, I lost 100 pounds. You know, I, I want to be the 100 pound loser.